This week, we're running with some familiar faces. Yes, was bad. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Redemption time, baby. There's seven rigs with us today. We added uh, Jeep Butts, Rob, and then we also added uh, Chris uh, with his Land Cruiser as well. So this is my first time using my uh, Land Cruiser. So I feel nervous. It's like the first time again. This afternoon, the weather is turning to a complete chaos. Most of this province has been under snowfall warning the last 48 hours. A lot of the guys, a lot of the crew here traveled about an hour and a half just to get here. The actual trail is not even maintained, so we don't even know what we're gonna get ourselves into here. Damn, man. <laughs> Cold. We couldn't pick a better weekend to go camping. About minus 18 degrees Celsius right now. I think I have bad luck, bro. My heater didn't even work last night. Rob's brand new, brand new heater overheated. I hopped in and within an hour, it got cold quick, really quick. So Wayne's heater overheated. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me see if I could pass by him. We're back. Yo, we're 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 back for we're back for more. Um, we're gonna explore Porcupine again, Livingston area. Most of this province has been under snowfall warning the last 48 hours and uh, I mean you could tell like we're we're in some fresh snow and we're really really excited to uh, explore some other trails that uh, myself, Janung and Joel uh, explored on our last episode on our way back out. We explored a, a trail um, where we think we want to go and uh, go and check out some more of it. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon it's not very windy it was windy in the town and it was windy very very windy from Calgary there's seven rigs with us today uh, we added uh, uh, Jeep butts Rob um, and then we also added uh, Chris uh, with his Land Cruiser as well and so we're uh, we're really pumped to have them with us and and uh, they're, they're, they've got some big boy toys so let's go let's go, yeah, let's go. guess who's back Guess who's back? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Redemption time, baby. You look short. You look short in there. at 28.3 right now PSI I'm gonna air down to I think I'll air down to 10 uh, today just because the, the snow is pretty pretty thick it's fresh uh, it's untouched so I'm gonna go down to 10 A little bit of safety meeting to ensure everyone's on the same page. Once that's done, it's time to roll. The farther into the country we go, the higher we climb, the fresher the snow becomes. There's just something about fresh snow that makes you want to dive in and play. And out here, there's plenty.
What's going on here? <laughs> well, we're playing around in fresh snow and uh, well, as you can see, we got Chris's Land Cruiser stuck. We're going to try and see if we can get out using traction boards here. <laughs> he just buried himself too deep and he's hung up so we got to pull him out uh joel's just gonna get set up here we'll uh we'll run a kinetic rope uh and hook him up from the front and and uh we'll pull him out and enjoy because Look at all this fresh snow, yeah. untouched, oh bro, my untouched. Goodness. Yeah. This is gonna be, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have yeah. a lot of fun. It's still under warranty, though. Done <laughs> <laughs> on warranty. Oh, wait, throw that in. Yeah, yeah. Just like that, we now got two rigs stuck. But I know that as long as Janong is present, we'll be all right. Yeah, good. This is a trail that uh, John Nong, myself, and Joel uh, tried out uh, on the last episode. It's uh, it's an incline with a, with a with a few with a few switchbacks, but to get to the top, there's a last section where it gets really steep, and that's where we all got stuck. We're gonna try and get it to the top because that's where we want to camp tonight. So uh, yeah, I'll be the first to go and give it a shot. And, Let's see what happens with it. No. We're gonna do the right. Ah. We're gonna pull him. Well, Rob is stuck. That's as far as we got. It gets deeper and deeper. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I can pull Send the Orlad now. I, I think if he backs up, he, he might be okay. Cheese, can you back up? But he's so close to, uh, to no. Rob, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna pull him. Just tug him a little bit. Yeah, do you have the kinetic? Yeah, I got my boat. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Okay. Orland was the third rig uh, in the convoy to try and attempt the hill climb and as you can see here he also got stuck and was in a very precarious position. Um, the problem here was Jeep Butts' rig was also stuck on the side of the of the hill. So we tried to pull Orland's truck backwards to try and straighten him out with John Ong's uh, Lexus and a kinetic rope. Um, as that was happening, Orland's rig kept sliding closer and closer towards uh, Rob's Jeep. Our next attempt was to winch um, Orland's rig uh, towards a tree to try and get him farther away from Rob's Jeep. Uh, in that effort, uh, Orland's rig continued to uh, his back end was was actually sliding towards Rob's Jeep. Or, or Rob, can you back up? 
Easy. Go. Another challenge that we encountered here was the fact that um, Orleans actually never um, run his his winch. Uh, so he was running his winch and trying to assist with accelerating through uh, the pole of the winch. Um, was giving it a little bit uh, too too much too much juice. So it wasn't uh, actually helping the cause. Not sure if Orlin um, needs hearing aids, but uh, it seems like he wasn't uh, <laughs> he wasn't listening to uh, Roel or uh, a lot of the other uh, guys that were trying to watch him. But with a little bit of coaching and some guiding and some extra eyes, which is always good, um, Orlin was able to be able to. Um, creep himself forward, get himself forward. Our next strategy was the, for us to be able to run a, um, a winch from the back connected to a recovery ring uh, to use as a, a pulley or a pivot area for, for us to uh, hook onto Orland's back end uh, and try to straighten him out. <laughs> <laughs> we also kept Orlin's winch connected to a tree saver in front to be able to hold him stable um, on the front end of his truck as we pulled sideways. So that way it would uh, reduce the risk of Orlin's rig uh, sliding, uh, continue to slide to the side. So as Orlin winched forward, he was able to get up onto the trail a little bit so that we can start pulling him sideways. And the final result was that we were able to uh, get his back end of his rig uh, right straight onto the trail. And it was, it was a success. So just an, again, a few, a few different methods of uh, recovery with a lot of extra eyes to be able to look at the ropes and, and look at um, the direction we're pulling. Same spot. So, what was the plan? Well, we got stuck. Again? <laughs> <laughs> For the second time, eh? <laughs> we, we love it, though. Uh, yeah. We did try to make it up this uh, this trail. <laughs> our, our we wanted to try to get to the top. None of us made it up. We had to do some hard recovery on uh, on Orleans Foreigner. So we're gonna back up, and uh, we're gonna go and trying to try and find a spot to to set up camp, and then we're gonna go on night wheeling. Yeah, that's it. We've what? got some unfinished business from last episode. We're gonna we're gonna push through that one. <laughs> Let's go. Again? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. What is it? It's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, who's leading then? <laughs> All right. Let's well, go. we'll back up and then uh, we'll, we'll figure it out once we get back on the trail. All right. See you in a bit. See ya. See ya. While Jay and Chris are busy getting out of the hole, I went ahead and scout for a campsite. I don't know where to go from here, so I'll just wait for you guys right here in the middle here. As it got colder fast and the temperature dropped, we decided to head back to our old campsite and set up again before things got too chilly. Camp is set and we're right back on trails. You got this, you got this, come on, rock it, rock it. Yes, sir. There you go. 
were having a blast and unfortunately we couldn't capture any footage. Sorry about that. We're officially past where we got stuff last time. Gotta go in the back. What are you guys eating? Caldereta. Caldereta. Calding. Calding? Calding. From this backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It looks like tomato sauce, right? Tomato sauce? Yeah, tomato yeah. sauce. It and, uh, yeah, and then on top. Whoa, whoa, how is it? Good man, that's nice. This one? Yeah. Pretty good, man. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good? 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's midnight. 
Uh, we cooked some congee, some uh, aldereta. aldereta, and some uh, some mountain goat from from cheese, and uh, we're gonna wrap it up for the night, and uh, hopefully, oh, it's cold too, just. It's about minus 25 right now. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's freezing. Our drinks are freezing. Turn to slush. All this. Damn. Our celery sticks are frozen. Everything. Every, it's get. It's cold. It's cold. So, but we had a really, 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 really successful run. I think. Um, a lot of fun. So, have a good night. We'll right. see you in the morning. Morning, Jay. Good morning. <laughs> I was that. I, I don't know if I'd say good, so I'll say morning. <laughs> Matt, I don't. I don't know what's. I, I think I have bad luck, bro. My heater. I didn't even. I. My heater didn't even work last night. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, the fumes was heavy. The exhaust uh, smoke was thick. It was dense. No luck. No, no man. Luck. So I started the truck and I just slept in the truck and by the sounds of it, talking with a lot of the boys here this morning, a couple of their heaters were overheating as well. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, Rob's brand new, brand new heater overheated. Um, Wayne's heater overheated. I, like, I got up quite a few times in the middle of the night because <laughs> I couldn't sleep well, like, I just I couldn't sleep well, but to, to be honest, cheese like your setup here with the with the tent, bro. Like <laughs> I I came out every time, like just smokestack is going. I'm like, dang, like for sure they're they're, they're nice and warm, man. So, oh yeah, you, you know, don't you don't I, see your breath inside. I mean, I I was warm, obviously. I had my truck running, but yeah. but I wasn't comfortable. Like I was sleeping yeah. in the driver's seat. So I think your setup like. Yeah, it's meant for this, man. It's, it's like it's it's, uh, it's it's legit. Like yeah. it, it doesn't take you very long to set it up. This setup is it, it takes ten minutes to set up. Yeah. And same thing. She's from Lethbridge. Yeah, uh, local guy from Lethbridge. Oh, nice. So cool south, dude. south here. Yeah, I just love the product, man. Yeah. Like you know, like you seen it like what three times, four times, three times already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my third time. Yeah, and like I never complain. Every complained. time, <laughs> I never it's compl never failed you. <laughs> never complain. It's never like, failed you. I'm like like waking up laughing <laughs> and like, making fun of you guys. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, but well, that's what you're capping though, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's all part of it. Yeah. It's all part of it. Right. The pasta. Nice. Mountain food. 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 Mountain Nakaring ka tatay? Uh, Nilamin ka? Nilamin ka? Nilamin ka? Nilamin ka? Nilamin ka? Man. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I'm laughing because like, I felt warm, bro. My heater, man. Let's get rid of the heater. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you keep it warm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why I yeah. turned mine back on. Yeah. So, what's your time? I'm almost 8. Oh, so, so you are... Uh... <laughs> 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 the game is so good. We're going to get out of the morning. Yeah. I saw all of them. Yeah. And then, yeah, I still keep it on my heater. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock. This is how you keep your, your warm. Nice. Yeah. Improvise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yesterday was probably like my funnest wheeling night or wheeling day. All, uh, all of my wheeling days. Yeah. 
that last night was, was legit probably one of my favorite ones as well. Yeah. Because we made it. We, we made it to we, the yeah. We made it to the end of that trail. No, so, as you can see uh, from last episode, we got stuck right here. We just basically came to a to a stop here because uh, the trail the trails are closed. This time we got through. The, the thing through. is, we, we don't have any uh, proof that we made it. We I, don't have any video. I, I, I have I have my dash video. No, I thought we made it. No, no, yeah, I, yeah, no, I, that, I, the, the one. No, he had three sixty. He had a three sixty. Oh no, that's the going up one. Oh, yeah. the, the, the the daytime one. Remember, Chris was uh, taking videos. Oh, oh going, right. coming, turning. No, he, he was he running did. his he was running his 360. Have a 360, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was great, man. Like, like he, everything was flying inside the car. Like, he, like uh, Roel's hat like flew. You know what I mean? Like almost almost kind of sprained my uh, my thumb. It was like holding the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like doing like this, like oh. I know. Because yeah, we our our trucks are just rocking back and forth like wild. Shake. Yeah, so last night is like uh, well, probably the coldest uh, campsite we've ever been together here. Yeah. Because um, we tried to run, we also tried to run um, a projector with the iPad, and the iPad didn't even last like 20 minutes. No. We just died. Did the heater bother you at all? Or? Did it ever bother me? <laughs> I think it was running good while we were eating for about two hours, and then I would say uh, I hopped in and Within an hour, it got cold quick. <laughs> really quick. So what, like around two? Yeah, so I took the remote, tried to restart it, and uh, kicked in for maybe another five minutes, and it just kept dying on me all night. And it was cold without that heater. Oh. <laughs> and, yeah. and that's your first experience, right? Yeah, brand, brand, new, brand, brand, brand new. Brand new. Brand new. And uh, I ran it the day before for about six hours, no issues. So I didn't think I'd have any issues. Adventurous, yeah. for sure, to say the least. Uh, we conquered, actually. We conquered our unfinished business. Um, it was really cold, and I, I, I wanted to mention, uh, I wanted to thank Cheese and uh, JB Fields for uh, supplying me with some socks last night. Uh, it was really, really cold, <laughs> and that was probably the warmest part of my body. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. But. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, uh, it's it's like uh, I said it again earlier. Like, it's it's probably one of my best wheeling experience in my wheeling <laughs> days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, I haven't been wheeling a long time either, but um, this was definitely one of the one of the most exciting nice. ones for me as well. Yeah, with with the deep snow recovery. You know, we had to use the recovery ring to pull. Pull uh, cheeses forerunner sideways to so that it prevented from hitting uh, Rob's Jeep. I almost was, forgot about that. Right? Yeah, like, that was a good. Uh, yeah, that was a good so, technique. Where I didn't even know like yeah. you guys could do that, right? Yeah. So it was just a just a different anchor point and a pivot, so that way you can get pulled sideways. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Yes. Peace. Peace.